Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Welcome to my tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you some bluesy and easy old school chords and riffs that anyone can play on the guitar. The guitar is tuned standard E A D G B E. And first we'll start with the three chords that we'll need to know in order to do some of this. Our three easy chords are an E7, and we're forming that by putting a finger on the A string at the second fret and the G string at fret one and strumming all the strings. A7, we're placing a finger on the D string at fret two and the B string at fret two, and we can strum all the strings or we can just strum from the A string for a nice A sound. B7 and we're going to do an easy form of a B7 like this and if we include the high E string it's a B11 but we're gonna call it B7 because if we play it from here down B7. We're holding down the A string at fret 2, the D string at fret 1, and the G string at fret 2. Strumming from the A string down to the B string, or down to the E string for a B11. Either one works just fine. Now that we know what chords we're going to use, let's do something that I call chord breakdown number 1. It'll go something like this. For that, we simply went to fret 4 and placed a finger on the G string and one on the high E, and we're going to pick those strings with the thumb and index finger like this. Just place your finger on each string and pull gently like that. We're going to play that at fret 4, fret 3, fret 2, and when we get to fret 1, we're going to put a finger on fret 1 of the G string and pull it. Then we're going to go to a B7 chord and then an E7 chord. So here's what we have. Now if we want to spice that up a little bit, we can go to fret 3, start here and slide into fret 4 like this. Then go to fret 3, fret 2, hammer on to fret 1 on the G string, like that. So that's a, just hammering on, open to 1, like that. So it's, then B7, 
and then E7. Here's chord break number two. For that one, we went to the G string at fret 4, put a finger on that or the middle finger on it, the B string at fret 3, and we're going to strum or sweep like that. This is a sweep of the strings, starting with the G string going straight across like that, just brushing them gently. So you're going to sweep that first chord, go down by one fret to fret two and three, go down to one and two, and then go to the G string just by sliding off and having that finger at fret one. So it's slide off. B7 and E7. So again, that's to add a little spice to that, we're going to go to fret two and three here and slide in to fret three and four like this. Hammer on, and then B7 and E7. Now here's something that I like to call the blues ease, because basically what I'm doing is playing around with E notes. Here's an E note here, and here's one here at the second fret on the D string, and here's our high E. We're going to occasionally throw in a G note here at fret 3 on the low E string and bend it like this. Just take it and pinch it down. And then we're going to land on that E note at the second fret on the D string like this. So you bend, play that E. So here's a low E, bend, E, and high E. So it's So you're just kind of playing around with that. Here's something I call the E minor pentatonic ending because we're going to play the E minor pentatonic scale like this. We're using those notes, that's the E minor pentatonic scale, that's open on the low E string, three, open, two on the A string, open, two on the D string, open, two on the G string, open, three on the B string, and open, three on the high E string. Now if we play that backwards, and we play our chords with it, it'll sound like this. In order to play that one, we're going to go to the high E string, play three open. The B string, three open. The G string, two open. D string, two open. 
the A string two open, go to the low E string, fret three, and bend it like this. And hold it for a second, and then open up the low E. So it's three open, three open, two open, two open, two open, three bend, and open. And then our E7 chord. Here's how we'll use that with our chords. B7, A7, our pentatonic drop, E7. I've got a pick and I'll show you how I do a little blues thing that goes something like this. In order to play that, we're going to move to the fourth position or the fourth fret with the index finger. And we're going to use the little finger to play the seventh fret. And we're kind of bouncing between those two. So we're going to play the open string, fret four, fret seven, the A string, fret four, five, Four, back to the low E string, fret seven, fret four, and then open. And we're going to repeat that. Here it is. pick I'm just going down up down up down up down up like that we'll move to the A string and do the same thing back to the E string and to end it we'll go to the seventh fret on the low E fret 4 on the A string, fret 5, fret 4, fret 7 on the low E, fret 5, fret 4, fret 2, and finish up with And that was open, four, seven, four on the A string, and end on fret seven on the A string. Here's the entire thing again. some easy blues that anyone can play with just a little work. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.